hello guys welcome to another interesting video in the series of coding and this time we are doing today's problem which is a part of the monthly challenge the december monthly challenge in lead code so this is the problem for today so let's get started it's called balanced binary tree and given a binary tree we have to determine if it is height balanced and a height balanced binary tree is defined as a binary tree in which the left and right subtrees of every node differ in height by no more than one so for example in this case we can see that the left is at a height of 1 but the right is at a height of 2 the difference between the left and right heights is 1 so that is still less than or equal to 1 so we can return true okay if the difference had been greater than 1 then we will have to return it as false that means it is not a height balanced binary tree so let's go forward when this is the case in this case we can see that one when 1 is the root node the left height is at uh, value of 3 and the right height has a value of 1 so the difference between the left and right heights is 3 minus 1 that is 2 and that is greater than 1 so in this case it is not a height balanced binary tree and we have to return false so let's uh, move forward to the logic of the code and then we will start actually coding it so let's uh, declare a left and right variable each time okay so let me declare a left and right variable for each node and I'm going to uh, make a recursive function that's going to keep calling its left and right children respectively and each time it's going to change the value of the height of left and right children okay so basically left and right is there is some problem with this so I will write it below okay so left and right so for each uh, root node there's going to be a left and right variable okay so each time I'm going to call the function recursively my left and right variable will get initialized in the function so left and right I'm going to write LNR short for left and right and let's see what will be the values of left and right each time also I'm going to declare a variable called height okay and let me keep note of the variable height so height is a variable that is going to tell me if I have to return true or false as the answer and height is going to tell me because first I'm going to make my height variable equal to 1 now whenever the difference between right and left variable crosses 1 that means if the difference between heights of left and right nodes is greater than 1 I'm going to change my height variable to 0 and if my height variable is going to be 0 in the end I'm going to know that I have to return false otherwise I have to return true so this is the logic of my code so uh, let's start so when 1 is a root node it will call recursively its left and right children and it will keep calling unless it encounters null so if the root is null its children are going to return 0 and whatever the children are returning that value will be added to 1 so that will give me the current height at the current level that I am at so for example let's understand this so 1 is the root node it will keep calling recursively its uh, left and right children so first it will make a call to its left child and it will reach the root node which has a value of 4 now 4 has both children which are null so they will return the value of 0 okay so that will be added to 1 and the current level which 4 is at is 1 because its children are at level 0 so the left variable for the root node which has a value of 4 the left variable for that will become equal to 1 right variable will also become equal to 1 okay now we have to return the maximum value of left and right variable okay so that will give the height so left and right maximum value is going to be 1 so that will be returned back to the function call when the root node is 3 okay so since 1 is returned to 1 we will have to add another 1 so that will give me the current level so to 1 we add 1 and left becomes 2 in this case okay by the way before doing this we will check if the difference between left and right values is greater than 1 then we will have to change this height variable to 0 otherwise we will have to maintain the height variable as 1 so in this case left is 1 right is 1 both has uh, if we subtract both the difference is 0 that is not greater than 1 so height will remain as 1 okay and then we'll move forward so this function call is returned now left has been initialized to 2 similarly we, uh, the root is the root has a value of 3 that will make a function call to its right child now its right child has a root node that has a value of 4 its both children are also null so its left and right variable will become equal to 1 that will return the function call back and right value will get initialized to 2 so to 1 we will have to add another one so that will give me the current level which is 2 okay now both left and right have uh, become equal to 2 so max of left and right is um, 
again two so two plus one is three so left value has again become equal to three by the way before this we will also check if the difference between left and right is greater than one it is not so in this case so height will remain as one okay now the function call is return left is equal to three and then uh, two will call its right child so again we can see that in this case both the children are null so the left variable gets the value of one right variable also gets the value of one and the function call will return back so right will become max of left comma right okay so that is um, one plus one for the current level so right will become two so left is three right is two in this case we will again check the difference between left and right values the absolute value of the difference between them is one which is not greater than one so height value variable will remain one as such and then we will return back the function call so the max of left comma right is equal to three and three plus one is four so the left variable will become four when one is the root node it will make a call to its right child now so two will again have both children which are null so that means the left variable will become one right variable will also become one and then that will uh, return and um, in this case again right will have a value of two so in this case we can see that left has a value of four right has a value of two we will check if the absolute value of difference between the left and right levels is greater than one so four minus two is two two is greater than one so height variable will become zero okay now we will return the value of height variable by reference so height will become equal to zero that means we know that this is not a height balance binary tree and in this case we have to return false so this is the logic of the code so let's actually start coding it to understand it uh, better so i will just uh, zoom it a little bit so that while coding the screen is visible better okay so let's start coding it so in this case we have to return a function that is going to return a boolean value whether it's true or false that's it and let's start so if root is equal to null in this case we have to just return true because it is definitely a height balanced binary tree okay otherwise we will just declare a height variable and i'm going to initialize it one in initially okay so one and i'm going to pass this in a function so let me just call it bst short for binary search tree and i'm going to pass the value of the root so root uh, node is getting passed and i will also pass height variable okay and if my height is true okay then in that case i have to return true i mean if my height is not zero then in that case i will have to return true otherwise i can uh, just return false because if height is zero then this condition will not get satisfied and then we can return false so this will be the logic of the code now i will uh, start writing my bst function so bst is going to return int it's either going to return zero or other value than zero so int bst and first i am taking first parameter that i am taking is the root node so i have written it as such and i am also taking height i have to take height by reference so that whatever change i make here that is also seen from where i am calling it okay now uh, first condition that i will have to give is if root becomes null then in that case i can return zero because the level will be zero if the root is null the children will be at level of zero otherwise i can declare uh, left and right variables so i am declaring left and right variables and left and right variables will store the value of the left and right nodes so for left variable i will have to again recursively call uh, my bst function and i am going to pass roots left and i am going to pass height so that's it and for the right variable similarly i am going to recursively pass the right child of the current node and i am going to pass height okay and after this what we will have to uh, do is we will have to add one to the current level to give the so whatever is getting returned to that we will have to add one for the current level so that will become the actual current level that it is at and uh, after this we will have to see if 
the difference between left and right so we'll have to see the absolute difference so if absolute difference between the left and right nodes if that is greater than 1 any time then we will just change our height variable to 0 okay else we can just uh, return the else what we can do is we can uh, just return max of left comma right so else it will just return the maximum value of left and right variables so this is it and i think we can run and see if it's working and this is an accepted solution we'll submit and see if it's working for all the test cases so yes it's working thank you for being patient and listening if you like the video please like and subscribe thank you